Okay, I want to just practice using the rules and the formulas that we've just learned for sums to evaluate this particular sum. So I'm adding up the sum as i goes from 1 to 1,000, 3 plus 2i. Notice my terms consist of two parts. Oh, that's a constant. That's a multiple of just i. So remember, there are four types of things we know how to add up. Constants, i's, i squareds, and i cubes. I'm seeing two of them in there. <laughs> so I'm going to suggest that you pause the video, try to work this out on your own, then tune back in if you get stuck, or tune back in if you finish and you want to check your answer. Welcome back. Okay. So the first thing I would do is I would split this apart into two sums. I'm going to say this is equal to the sum as i goes from 1 to 1,000 of 3, plus the sum as i goes from 1 to 1,000 of 2i. Because I've got four types of things that I can add up, but I do them one at a time. I've got one formula for constants, one formula for i's, a different formula for i squareds, all of that. So now this is just a sum of a constant. I'm liking that. I can actually add that up. That's just a whole bunch of copies of 3. How many copies of 3? 1,000. Because if I'm starting at 1 and going to 1,000, I have 1,000 terms. Now here, what I'm adding up is 2i. Notice that's a constant times i. I'm going to use my constant multiple rule to say I can factor out that 2, and then this is the sum as i goes from 1 to 1,000 of i. Okay. So I want to get it so that all that I have on the inside is one of those four things, a number, an i, an i squared, or an i cubed. So I can break them apart. And I had to break apart this constant and the i. But now I can say, okay, so that's 3,000. This is going to be plus 2 times. Now, my formula is if I take the smallest number plus the biggest number, that's going to give me 1,001. So that's going to be the sum of each pair that I have. And then how many pairs will I have? Well, if there are 1,000 numbers, there will be half as many pairs. Okay. Now, I could say 1,000 divided by 2 is 500 and then multiply. I'm noticing that I'm going to multiply this whole thing by 2 eventually. I'm just going to cancel those 2's. And then I can say this is 3,000 plus 1,001 times 1,000 just adds three zeros at the end. So let's see, we've got 1,000,000 plus 3,000, this is 1,000,000. Very, very quick way of adding up a whole bunch of things. Okay. All right, let's try another one. So let's try the sum as i goes from 1 to 500 of 3i squared plus i. Now let's make it 2i. Why not? Okay. Now, I'm going to remind you of the formula for the i squared. So the sum as i goes from 1 to n of i squared is n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 all over 6. That would be provided for you on an exam if you needed it. Okay, so pause the video, try and work this one out. Sorry, I forgot to say welcome back. Welcome back. Now, first thing I'm going to do is split this up into two sums. I'm going to say it's the sum of the 3i squareds plus the sum as i goes from 1 to 500 of 2i. So now, oops, that was i squared. So now I've got my i squareds and my i's separated. Each one has a constant multiple, so I can factor out those constants. So I can say this is 3 times the sum as i goes from 1 to 500 of i squared plus 2 times the sum as i goes from 1 to 500 of i. So now I've got formulas for adding up the i squareds and the i's. So this is going to be 3 
times I'm just going to take this formula for the i squareds, and what I'm plugging in for n is 500. So on top, I'm going to get 500 times 501 times 2 times 500 is 1,000, plus 1 is 1,001, all divided by 6. Okay. And then here, I'm getting two copies of, now here, if I'm adding up the integers, remember, the smallest from the plus the biggest will give me 501, but that's for each pair. If I have 500 numbers, I have half as many pairs. Okay, so let's see what we can simplify here. I'm going to cancel this 3 with this 6. That's going to go in twice. I'm going to cancel the 2 with the 500. That's going to go in 250 times. So I still have a little bit of work to do. It's a little tedious, but I'll survive. So let's see, 250 times 501, 0, 5, 2, 0, 0, 0, 25, 12, 0, 5, 2, 5, 2, 1. Okay, so 250 times 501 is 125,250. I get to multiply that by 1,001. Okay. Well, that's just keeping track of place value. So when I multiply by 1, I just get these same digits then three place-holding zeros, and I multiply by one again. So I get those same digits. Zero, five, two, five, two, one. So we get one, two, five, three, seven, five, two, five, zero. Oh. So 125 million, 375,250. That's what we got from this piece. Then here, I can cancel the two and the two. And now we've just got 501 times 500. Neat little trick. If I've got zeros on the end, I can just sort of say they're gonna, I'm going to end with two zeros, and I get 505. So 50,500. 0, 5, 7, 5, 12, 4, 125 million, 425,750. Now, it might have felt a little bit tedious doing that arithmetic, but a whole lot less tedious than adding up one piece at a time, the first 500 squares times 3, plus the first 500 integers times 2. So these formulas really make these sums go an awful lot faster.